we're asked to write an equation for the graph of the given function. We want to use the unit step function to write our equation, where the unit step function or heavy side step function is defined by u sub c of t, or u of the quantity t minus c, which equals zero if t is less than c, and is equal to one if t is greater than or equal to c. So notice how the given graph is a piecewise defined function, where all the function values are zero, except over the interval from one to four, including one and not including four. So we want to turn on the function value of three over this interval, everywhere else the function value is going to be zero. It might be helpful to write this as a piecewise defined function, where we can say that y of t is equal to zero if t is less than one, y of t is equal to three if t is greater than or equal to one and less than four, and finally y of t equals zero again if t is greater than or equal to four. So using the unit step function, we can say that y of t is equal to the function value of three. Now we're going to multiply this by the difference of two unit step functions that over this interval, the difference will be one, and for every other interval, the difference would be zero. So we can write this as u sub one of t minus u sub four of t. So notice how when t is less than one, both of these function values would be equal to zero. So we'd have three times zero, which would give us the left piece of the graph. But then over the interval from t greater than or equal to one and less than four, u sub one of t is going to equal one. u sub four of t will still be equal to zero. So we'd have three times the quantity one minus zero, or three times one, which again gives us a function value of three over this interval here, but then as soon as t is greater than or equal to four, notice both of these function values would be zero, so we'd have three times zero minus zero, which returns the function value back to zero. Now if we look at our question though, they do want us to express y or y of t in this form here. Let's go ahead and distribute the three and write y of t as y of t equals three times u sub one of t minus three times u sub four of t. So looking at our question now, f of t would be equal to three, a would be equal to one, g of t, because we have minus three times u sub four of t, would be equal to negative three, and b would be equal to four. I hope you found this helpful.